So you, you were born in 1988, and uh, what is your first musical memory? My first musical memory? I think that's some James Brown music that my, my, my mom and dad played out for me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, of course, Michael Jackson. Uh, my dad is a big fan uh, of Elvis Presley as well, so yeah. I grew up with a lot of funk. Yeah. Funk music. And what made you decide to go into DJing? Was it a special location or...? Another special location, uh, the thing that me, that me caught up uh, to be a DJ is that I saw a documentary on the Dutch TV. I think when I was 11 or 12 about uh, the breakthrough of the DJs, about Tiesto, Armin van Buren and Ferry Kosten at that time. And that inspired me so much. Why? Like, uh, I was always I, I, was, I was always into music. I was like six years old when I started playing piano, and I had a lot. Of, I, I discovered dance music already, but when I saw the documentary, I think all the pieces fell together, and I was like, "Wow, mom and dad, I want to become a DJ too." The whole thing with the vinyl and the people that you, just the experience that you can play your your favorite records out to a big audience, that inspired me so much. And yes, since that point, I started to uh, buy my own turntables and practicing in my bedroom. And what did your mom and dad say to you when you said to them that, that, that you wanted to be a DJ? They were really supportive since the beginning. My mom and dad were like, really, if you want to do that, just go with it and go for it, you know? And yeah, I just started practicing in my, bed, in my bedroom. And I was producing at that time as well. And I, I put it out my tracks on the internet just for free. And yeah, when I was 14 years old, I, uh, I signed my first record deal. So I was really young when I, uh, yeah, when I uh, went into the dance industry. Is it, well, you, you've had a successful year now. Um, if you look back at well, being 14 and now th 10 years later, um, did it surprise you how the world, how, how the DJ world is, how making music is, or is it ex exactly what you thought it would be? Um, that's a really good question. Actually, I don't actually know what's, what I yeah, would expect from like 10 years ago till now. Uh, I think. For me personally, that dance music scene is bigger than ever right now. Uh, like I said, America is now like full into dance music. You can hear dance music on daytime radio, and two years ago it was only pop music and uh, R&B and hip hop music. So yeah, it, it, it's so cool. I never expected to do. Uh, I never expected dance music to be so big globally. So. I think that's a really good, yeah, a good thing for, for me as a DJ, but also for the whole uh, music industry. Okay, last question: um, Will you, when will you be, re will you be releasing an own album with own tracks? Or? Um, yeah, I'm working on an album. Actually, I'm working on a documentary. Uh, for the last two years, really, a guy followed me like basically everywhere, also like in, in private places instead of only DJ gigs. So. Yeah, that's a documentary, and when the documentary is going to be released next year, I think around February, uh, March, April, around there, there will be a soundtrack of the documentary, which is an album, and yeah, somehow like a compilation of what I did the last two years, uh, and what's coming the next year. So yeah, that's probably my first official debut album. And will you be uh, working with... Uh female or, or male singer? Uh, I just did a new track with uh, Amber Shepard, that's a, a singer from Australia, where I'm really big fan of, so yeah, that was really cool to work with her. I'm not working with like really big pop stars, because I, I have a feeling like it's already done, you know? I'm not gonna do like a, a track with Rihanna. I would love to produce a track for Rihanna, but not do a collaboration, because I think that's not my cup of tea. I don't want to be a sellout and be like a really commercial guy and working with the big pop stars to get my name out there. I want the people to appreciate my music and not because I'm working with a big star. Thank you for your time. Yeah.